inspired you to start your journey into fashion? How has your style evolved over the years? Um, I was inspired by music videos growing up uh, and movies. <clears throat> That's really what I did, just watching music videos and watching movies, MTV Jams, BET, VH1, uh, 80s and 90s kids know what I'm talking about. But growing up, I really wanted to be like Hype Williams' protege. Hype Williams is a music video director. He directed a lot of um, like the, the hottest music videos you can think of. If you Google them, you'll know who I'm talking about. But I wanted to be like him. So in high school, there was a video production class but you had to take photography t as a prerequisite to get into it. And I really wasn't interested in photography, but I took it anyway. I didn't understand that photography is the basics of videography. So I took photography. It was a black and white film class. I learned how to develop film. Um, I took pictures of my friends and everything that I could. And I saw that I was actually good at it. So after high school, I decided to pursue it in college. I went to Kent State. I ma majored in visual communication design, something like that, I don't remember. But yeah, um, that's really how I got into it. And as a kid, I was always a creative. I would draw, I would make Barbie clothes, I would um, take pictures, do all kind of creative things. I just knew that I would end up in a creative field. How does it feel to have your work featured in an art gallery? What impact did it have on your I was scared. <laughs> I was so nervous. I never uh, printed out my work, especially on the scale that you have to have it in a, a gallery showing. And um, people have been asking me to do it for a long time. And I was like, no, I'm not ready. Just being shy and just, I don't know. Um, but I, it was, it was scary, but it was awesome. And just, just people admiring my work. It made me feel like I don't know, I just felt happy. It made me feel like all this hard work that I've been putting into my my work and my craft is really showing and people are really appreciating what I do. As a mom and an artist, how do you manage to balance your personal life with your creative career? Uh, I try to the best of my ability. Um, I use a planner, like several planners. Um, I make sure that I have a daily and nightly routine, a weekly routine, and I just, I have to be honest about my commitments and what I can afford to, to this versus my other, uh, the other hats that I wear, being a mom, um, having a health issue, um, working a nine to five. It's a lot, it doesn't leave a lot of time to be a creative, but being creative is important to me. That's what keeps me going besides being a mother, of course, but like, if I don't do that, then I don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm losing myself. So I make sure at least an hour a day, I'm doing something towards my craft. Looking ahead, where do you see your photography and artistry career in the next five years? What are your goals? I got a lot of goals. I don't want to say all of them because every time I say something, it doesn't happen. I don't know why it, that happens that way. But uh, one of my, well, two of my big goals is I want to have my own studio and I want to move to LA. I don't want to move to LA for the creative aspect. I just felt like my whole life, something has been calling me out there. And I went out there a couple times and luckily I have a lot of family out there so I wouldn't be alone. But I just feel at peace. I feel at home out there. It's somewhere that I really want to spend the rest of my life. So those are the main two goals. And I'll, I'll give you another one. I want to shoot for Playboy. I really want to, if I could shoot for Playboy, those three, if I could accomplish those three, I'm happy. Can you share a particular project or a photography shoot that was exactly meaningful to you and why? Um, yeah, I did a, a shoot at Waffle House. And I don't know if you saw it, but um, that was my first out shoot. It was my first shoot with uh, like actual models, like real models. Um, and everything you could think of went wrong. My lighting wasn't working. We got kicked out even though we asked beforehand, could we use the space? They were threatening to call the police on us. Um, like it, it was just a lot going on. I was like, oh my God, like I'm about to lose my mind. My, like, 
nothing is going the way that I needed to go. But it worked out. Like, I got some amazing shots. I even got a shot uh, miraculously with uh, fireworks going off right next to the model's, like, body. Amazing. And that really, like, showed me, like, damn, I could really do this. Like, I'm really a fashion photographer. I've been saying I want to be this person, and I'm really turning into this person. And it got me a lot of recognition. Like, people still talk about it to this day. So, like, it, it really put my name out there. And I just kind of ran with it. I'm like, you know what? It's go time. Like, we did it. Let's just keep, let's keep capitalizing off of this. Let me book more style shoots, you know. And it showed me that, like, Things are gonna go wrong either way. You gotta be able to adapt quickly. And like even plans, like things you've been thinking about your whole life, everything doesn't turn out the way that you want it to. It could turn out better, it could turn out for worse. But either way, it's the reason that it's turning out that way. And it really taught me to like just relax and like understand that, you know, even th though things don't go right, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not gonna turn out the way that I want it to or even better. Um, just start, like, don't think about it too much. You don't need, you need a camera. You don't need the greatest camera. You don't need all of the equipment. You just need to have the right mindset, like you're gonna make something happen. You're gonna do whatever you put your mind to. And then everything else will fall into place. But to, I guess one of the first things I will say would be not only that to just start, but the second thing would be just um, be consistent. Consistency is key, the key to life. Consistency and discipline are the keys to life. Do something every day. I don't care if it's for 30 minutes. I don't care how long it is. Do something every day for your craft. It makes you better. It's like compounding interest. Just you just compounding skills on skills on skills. Just every day, just work on it. Anything you want to do if creatively, just just work on it every single day. My last question is, how has being on the membership have helped your brand? How has the membership helped me? Listen, like, not just the membership. Like, I needed a studio home. Um, studios are expensive, and I would rather pay, like, monthly the amount that I would pay for an hour somewhere else. And here I can come and utilize the space in really any way I want to. There are several, you have several different setups that I could use. Um, you're very lenient and um, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but you you allow us to use everything you have in the space. You don't charge us or nickel and dime us for every single thing that a photographer needs to use, like lighting, backdrops, props. It's just readily available. And you're also here to mentor. And like every time I come here, even if I have a shoot or not or whatever I have to do, we have conversations, like real meaningful conversations that I do take home and I implement into my, my business. And like you have really helped me a lot. You and like the rest of your team are just amazing. So I really appreciate that you are so openly willing to let me experiment, come in here, do what I got to do. You don't hound me. You don't hover. You, you um, get behind the scenes shots of me to help my own business. So it's really, it's really like helped me not only practice my studio lighting, because I'm not a studio photographer, but now I'm more comfortable using it. Um, and now I have a designated space to where my clients can come and they know like, okay, my last shooting at this studio, I know where everything is. I know I want to use this spot. I want to, I know I want to use that. It takes, it eases a lot of the pressure of being, being creative because you already have it set up for us. So I really think like the subscription is great. I, I wish all photographers would use it because it's really helpful and it's not super expensive. It really pays for itself if you think about it. Thank you. Where can we follow you at? I'm on Instagram, uh, R-M-B-X-R-A-E, and I am on TikTok, same name, uh, barely on TikTok, and uh, YouTube. I'm, I will be revamping my YouTube channel, which is the same name, R-M-B-X-R-A-E. Probably do that in about 30 days.